so we have this wrap application where total amount of the header which totally depends on this item quantity and the amounts so basically this amount in the items defines it's a unit price for the particular product which means it will be for this amount will be for one quantity okay here it is two quantity which means the total amount for this particular item will be 400 so right now we could see this get determined uh, based on uh, the determinations i have implemented already okay so it's like uh, for one quantity of 100 amount it's totally for this 100 and two quantity of 200 is 400 here so that's what 500 usd is coming here okay there is no problem here let's say like if i change it to one and uh, and you could see the draft is getting updated but the total amount is not changed at all so in order to see the updated amount i have to do the reload of this particular entity so we could see this has been changed to one okay do we always have to reload this in order to change the uh, you know particular field uh, from the ui uh, don't we have any other option for this yes uh, we do have uh, that is what we are going to see in this video hello everyone welcome back to my channel i think uh, we understood the issue so the i will uh, reiterate it so whenever I'm changing this quantity or amount, okay, uh, the amount total amount will get be determined using the determination in the uh, behavior definition implementation. But in order to see the total amount value, I need to have to reload this whole, you know, uh, header and item entities. Then only I would able to, you know, get the updated value. So to avoid this, okay, we have a, a very uh, popular solution called uh, side effects. So the side effects, you know, we can do it in the UI. Maybe like um, I can ask a UI developer uh, for this, you know, to help me with this requirement. So whenever I'm changing this item quantity or amount, so as a UI developer, you have to just reload this total amount alone instead of reloading manual reloading of all the entities okay can can't we do it uh, back end completely because we have generated the theory elements application everything from the back end so for this one requirement why should i need to go to the ui developer so is there any way we can achieve this side effects okay which means like uh, when i'm changing this quantity or amount okay my total amount needs to be reload alone can we do it in behavior definition yes we can do it for that what we have to do is just i'm just before uh, going into this uh, side effects concepts i would like to show you the definition roughly so i go back to the behavior definition so this is my behavior definition all right customer and product okay and uh, in i am i'm just determining the total amount of this you know uh, customer from the product because whenever the new product or whenever some up products is getting updated uh, you know uh, this total amount needs to be recalculated that is what i have mentioned okay it's a create and update and uh, field uh, what are the field is for you know quantity and amount okay so if we just take a look at it uh, so this is my implementation first of all what i'm doing is i'm so whenever i'm updating something in the product item okay i would get this you know those item key key fields in the input okay that's a input parameter of this particular method okay so i read the particular item i don't i don't want the particular item at all because why i'm reading is i just want to know the customer id because we are going to update the header total amount right so i i just uh, took only the customer id then i am reading all the products okay uh, why i am reading all the products because i need to recalculate uh, uh, you know uh, the the amount right whatever that was changed 
so i am just you know using this uh, by association then i am just pausing this customer id okay and there is additional parameter i'm pausing which belongs to the draft so if i'm using this draft equal to you know uh, i'm switching on this draft parameter which means just read the data only from the draft database tables so uh, if you are not sure about what is draft and you uh, know uh, what is the draft table and all just click on this i button and uh, watch those videos using this parameter i'm just selecting i'm just want to read only the data from the draft database table okay i don't want the active database table all right so i will get the results so i'm just taken a, a variable total amount so here whatever all the products i'm just looping it i okay uh, so using this variable i'm going to recall click simply you know uh, with the product quantity and amount okay i'll get a final amount here this final amount i need to update back to the current customer uh, id right that we have already we selected it here so it's very simple this this is my determinations this determination will be uh, you know uh, triggered automatically in the draft uh, but uh, the issue is you know uh, this amount will not be you know reloaded that's the problem so this problem we are going to solve it with you know side effects okay so i go back to the behavior definition uh, the important thing is you don't need uh, any specific uh, implementation for this side effects so yeah so i'm going to add a side effects for this product uh, entity okay this is the syntax you have to add side effects and open press okay what we want to do here we just want to reload the total amount uh, field okay so we tell the behavior definition so this is my uh, you know field of uh, product that is quantity it's one of the product uh, field right so what it's going to be uh, what it will do is it just simply affects our amount which amount total amount right so this is total amount of customer so it won't allow because uh, uh, it belongs to the customer entity so we are in the product entity right so we have to use the association so this is the association we have used and yeah so we tell the uh, behavior definition so just use this side effects okay which field we are going to use this field quantity okay and which is going to be affix the customer total amount okay one second um, yeah so yeah that's it it's no error right so i'll just activate it so whenever you are enabling the side effects or you have to uh, enable this in the projection behavior definitions otherwise it will not work so don't forget this so here after use draft you can add the side effects uh, that's it just activate the behavior definition okay let's go back to okay yeah fine so i'll just discard this draft uh, okay so it's back to the active again so the total amount is 500 and uh, you will have the quantity and amount uh, as uh, the same like uh, you know earlier okay so i go into the edit mode again so when i try to change this to see still the total amount is 500 i click outside and your total amount gets updated automatically i haven't done any reload nothing so basically the side effects will take care of this you know reloading of this total amount automatically because we have already defined it Whenever I'm changing the quantity, you should reload this customer dot total amount. That's it. So if I just change this to, uh, let's say like uh, one, it will not work. Why? Because we haven't added anything side effects for this amount. We just added one before the quantity. So let's uh, quickly add those. Same thing you have to use field which field it's amount of product which is going to be affect field of customer total amount okay. 
that's it we just activate it as we already uh, expose this uh, side effects in the projection behavior definition so no more changes required i'll reactivate it fine i go back and uh, it's still in the trap mode maybe i'll reload this okay so this get already changed because i have done the reload maybe i will take another example maybe let's go back to the old one i just remove this one let's see now see it's getting updated i'll add it here maybe a 300 800 uh, uh, side effects in the behavior definition okay has been introduced in this uh, i think uh, 2023 only so if you have the earlier version of wrap uh, it will not be that so so we don't have any other option we need to take a help from uh, the ui developer in that case so that's it guys i wanted to show you a short demo for this side effect so if you like this video just do thumbs up and and subscribe for uh, more videos thank you for watching have a nice day